It is the 19th of July 2017 and that can mean only one thing. It's time for Boruto episode 16, Crisis, the Threat of Fall. And man, prepare for a three minute review, because nothing really happened this episode. Oh well, I guess stuff did happen. Obviously, the episode wasn't just one static image, unlike my reviews. But the things that did happen in the episode weren't really all that interesting, if you ask me. It was all about Denki and Iwabe getting ready for the upcoming test, which will eventually lead to the tuning exam, I hope. And overall, it was a really, really light episode. I know I've described a few episodes in the past as being kind of light or kind of singular plot focus, but holy shit, this takes the biscuit for the episode with the least amount of content. It was fine. I kind of liked that they did take time out for a whole episode just to focus on Denki and Iwabe and how they become friends. And I'm sure that'll play into it later where they form a three-man team with Denki, Iwabe and someone else after the tune-in exams. Or, and I'd kind of really like to see this, but I don't think they'll ever do it, maybe have Denki and Iwabe realise that they don't want to be ninjutsu, but kind of take up a support role, as it were. I'm not sure what exactly, but it would kind of be interesting to see some of the main characters actually not be ninja, but still kind of provide support to ninja in the world and stuff. I don't know, it'd just be an interesting story thing. I don't think they'll ever do that, but it would be kind of cool. Yeah, apart from a kind of slow montage of Denki Nawabi training, really nothing much happened this episode. There was that weird fire thing near the end the the ending everyone could see a mile away i presume of oh no we're gonna miss the test well we gotta save people and then chino saying oh but you passed the test anyway it's fine it's been done before it's not a bad direction to take it it served its purpose and stuff and i got the denki niwabe are now a lot closer and stuff but honestly the highlight for the episode for me was seeing adult rock lee and man his voice has dropped which Makes sense, obviously, because he's no longer 14. But it was just cool to see him pop up, though he didn't really do much. He just gave a training suit to Denki and kind of cleared off. Apart from that, honestly, there's nothing else I can think of to talk about. I know I've kind of set myself up into a cycle here in that I said I'd review every episode. I've failed that already. But trying to do it for every episode that does come out. And this unfortunately shows the weakness of my plan because honestly there's nothing else to talk about so i'm just gonna wrap it up here i'm sorry if this is a bit of a disappointing episode but honestly i can't think of anything else to mention at all this was definitely the nearest thing to a filler episode i think boruto's had so far i will say however i don't know if i would count this as a filler episode because generally speaking a filler has no overall plot significance but this kind of does because in the future I can see Denki and Iwabe being good friends relevant to some plot somewhere and while they were kind of friends before I think this has cemented them to be kind of two guys that you'll see hanging out a lot together in future but who knows I don't know this could actually be filler. I've also seen a few people discuss the fact that they're going to animate the Gaiden arc soon I'm not really sure what the Gaiden arc is. If you do know, let me know in the comments below. Part of me likes to think it's going to be like the Itachi Gaiden thing that we got during the end of Shippuden, where it kind of shows Itachi's life and stuff. But I don't know, maybe is it about the Naruto generation or the Boruto generation? I don't know. Let me know in the comments, as I said. Also, holy shit, thank you so much for everyone watching. I got 63 views for my last video, uh, as of the recording of this one, and that is phenomenal. I don't think I've ever got 63 views for a video within a week. That's genuinely amazing. As I've said before, I don't intend this channel to be big or popular or anything, but I am genuinely blown away. So thank you so much for everyone who watched that and commented last time and everything. Also, if you think I'm just messing up or really overlooking something or doing something wrong, do feel free to tell me in the comments. I always like hearing back from people. It is hard to kind of step away and assess what exactly it is I'm doing, and especially what I'm doing wrong. So that about wraps everything up. Now it's time to go on to next time. And man, if you thought this episode was light on content, next time Sarada takes a stuffed animal to a hospital. Prepare for another three minute review video, or however long this is, it's probably around five. But whatever, until next time, goodbye. <laughs>